Good news for the Second Amendment's usually pretty few and far between. But sometimes it comes from unexpected places. So we'll take it when we can get it. Stick around, because we're going to talk some more about that. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell, and we're here because we wanted to share some good news. Uh, we don't get good news very often. As gun owners, we seem like we're always under assault, and if we've got good news, we want to share it. And sometimes good news comes from unlikely places, and in this case, it's coming from L.A. County. Uh, the current sheriff, Villanueva, uh, came out last week with a statement saying that he is going to change the policy within the county when it comes to the processing of concealed weapons permits. And this is a complete 180 from his original stance. When he came into office a couple of years earlier, um, not only did he pretty much stomp on new CCWs, he actually canceled many CCWs that were into effect. So the numbers actually shrunk. Uh, since he's been in office, there have been a total of uh, just over 900 CCWs issued, and in the last year, it's just over 400. Most of those CCWs went to judges and prosecutors who might be considered the elite so that these people would have a better means of protecting themselves from criminals that they'd either prosecuted or, you know, sent up the river. So in some ways, you know, these decisions are politically motivated uh, by, by the sheriff. But what we're looking at now is a possible big shift in policy where the sheriff is going to start reissuing CCWs. Uh, a big part of this is also political in that many liberal uh, areas, including L.A. County, have gone in the other direction of defunding the police to where the Board of Supervisors cut nearly $150 million from the county's law enforcement budget. And as a reflection of that, we've seen nearly double the murders in L.A. County. We've also seen a huge uptick in violent crimes as well as property crimes. And you can't defund the police without seeing a huge uptick in the other direction. And we're seeing the same thing across the nation with other places that have tried to go this route. Plain and simple is, it just doesn't work. Uh, the cops aren't the problem, it could be the criminals. So we're cautiously optimistic when we watch LA County that things are gonna turn around and that we're going to see more CCWs issued. Um, we don't know where this is going to go, uh, but we're going to have to kind of let history decide and see how all this plays out and maybe revisit this subject a year from now to see what the actual numbers are as to whether or not this is just a real policy change or if whether it's going to be another promise that uh, may or may not be kept. Anyway, it's still good news because it offers hope for the people that live in L.A. County that they can uh, actually use their rights and help protect themselves. So there's the good news. Uh, for those in L.A. County, we're hoping things are going to get better. Anyway, for those of us or you that's been watching the show, we appreciate the fact that you've been loyal and sticking with us. Uh, we appreciate all of that and helping us get traction and keep traction. And we'd appreciate if you haven't done it already, uh, hit the subscribe button as well as like and share. And that way you can tune in to more good news like this. Anyway, my name's Ed Thorell from uh, Shoot of the Series. And on behalf of the cast and the crew, we want to thank you all for sticking with us. Y'all take care.